so funny story I had this whole thing recorded when I left the house and uh, got all the way here to I was going out for um, like breakfast for lunch because that sounded really good and uh, got all the way over here to Denny's and um, was talking to the camera the whole time telling you what was going on and whatnot and come to figure out it was on time-lapse mode so that was the first part of this video that you saw so now hopefully you guys get to see the uh, I get to do this all over again but anyways basically just fixed a fixed a few things on the old flatty it was like a holiday weekend so figured that would be good and uh, had a one of those when I originally built this I had one of those like little uh, park um, lock valves little hydraulic you know kind of push you push the pedal you pull the valve and it's supposed to like lock the rear circuit up or whatever um, I don't know it's been in here since I built Rango and uh, never worked right I think it always leaked a little bit of fluid and uh, so I just finally decided to rip that thing out. It, it got so bad at Easter Jeep this year that uh, the, like you'd romp on the brakes and it would like squirt fluid up through the floor and get on your pants. So enough of that. So got that thing out of there. It was a little bit tight to get it out without like taking the exhaust off and stuff, but was able to get in there with a little hex bit Phillips and a little quarter inch wrench and, and get it all torn apart and made a new little brake line and got it back together again and rebred the Blake <laughs> re bled the brakes um, and they're feeling better um, you know I think there's still a little bit of air in there but better than they have in a couple years so um, yeah, did that, and then the other thing that kind of broke at Easter Jeep again, um, not, it's only done it, I think, twice in maybe three times in 12 years, was uh, I broke the upper driver's side shock mount off of the frame, and so I went back in there. There was, was a thin part in the frame that I kind of had to weld up a little bit. Uh, cleaned up the old bracket and just welded it back on. Um, I mean, one of these days I'll do something different with the shocks, but honestly, it, it's always worked okay and whatever. Um, I didn't, didn't, want them, didn't want it to turn into a whole big project. I just wanted it to be fixed back to how it was. Um, yeah, so it was nice just to uh, get this thing out in the nice weather and go for a drive a little bit. Took it to lunch yesterday, took it to lunch today. Um, and uh, yeah, so such a good old Jeep. I feel bad about not using it more, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes, especially when you have more than one project or whatever um, but uh, kind of goes in cycles you know with your interests and you know what all your friends are doing too you know like not not very many of my friends these days like the close group I call you know I know a lot of people with flat fenders but um, a lot of my friends you know that I I do big wheeling trips and stuff don't have um, flat fenders uh, a couple though um, look like they're working on maybe throwing one together um so that'll be fun and uh yeah that's about it it's just a nice day it's what is it sunday yeah sunday um so can't go wrong going for a drive in my jeep so just felt good to get it out of the garage and uh Everything seems to be working pretty, pretty normal. This thing's been kind of ever faithful. It's only little tiny stuff that I really have to worry about with this thing. But it's nice to uh, keep up on some of that, um, so it doesn't get away from you. And if you do need it for a trip or want to take it for a trip or need to go do something with it, you can. Um, So 
So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for coming along and uh, listening to me babble on here for a couple minutes, but I thought I'd throw something up for uh, the holiday weekend and make sure the channel stays active in the algorithms and all that. And if, uh, yeah, still, still trying to find my voice on YouTube. I don't know. I, I really have to try to, to film stuff. Um, it just doesn't seem, that part of it doesn't seem to come natural for me really. But I'll keep trying and hopefully you guys keep watching. So thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.